Okay guys, we're still here at CES. We're here at the Trump with JJ from ASUS. And now we're gonna take a look at a very, very interesting product, a PCIe SSD called the Raider. Now, this thing's still kind of in its pre-production value. We don't have quite prices and stuff, but JJ does have some really cool information about this product, which I understand spent a lot of time in development to bring it to your desk without any bullshit. Right, JJ? 100%. Um, you know, a big focus for us is actually this is a new entry for ASUS. Historically, we're not known for storage. So this is actually going to be our Raider Express. Um, we've actually been in development of this for almost 10 months, so a very long period of time. And while we're right now ta not talking about the specifics as far as the controller, the memory, the topology. I want it all, JJ, firmware, or, or we'll kidnap uh, you. All those details, uh, which they're definitely going to be coming very soon to Tech It Tomorrow, so you can stay locked to find out about that when we launch it later in Q1. Um, we first want to just let the users know we've taken compatibility, interoperability, and reliability very seriously. Because at the end of the day, this is your storage, right? This is where you're running your operating system, it's where you're saving your games, and you need to feel very confident that it's going to be a plug-and-play solution. It's just going to and work. work. That's correct. Let me address with you guys, the audience, a lot of times some of the other cards going out there, I'm not going to mention names to piss anybody off, but a lot of times I've gotten these, put them in my system, they don't boot. you got to do all kinds of crazy stuff to even to get it to recognize in Windows, and by that time it's become a pain in the ass as well as a good product. With all the research and developments that's gone to this, it's supposed to be simply plug into your computer, go, install your drivers, and away you go with your system, right? So in terms of like what we're talking about in regards to compatibility, you know, the big thing is we've done a huge amount of testing when it comes to posting, to booting, to making sure it works with RAIDs or multi-GPU setups. Um, you know, so at the end of the day, we just want people to feel confident that, hey, this is going to be a plug-and-play solution. It's going to be for when SATA isn't fast enough and I want a great gameplay experience. We are certifying that it is going to be a bootable-based device, so you can feel confident that if you want to run your OS on it, you can go ahead and do that, or you can use it like a standard storage device. Outside of that, you know, you guys can definitely stay tuned to the Tech Tomorrow. We're going to let you guys know more information once we get ready to launch it a little bit later in Q1. Right on. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. We've got more products coming up, so stay tuned.